What's up YouTube? This is Bros GFX and this is Tutorial Thursday, Episode 5. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to do um, breaking text in, uh, what's it called? Cinema 4D, uh, using Throwsy, or whatever it's called. Um, this is should be fairly simple actually, and it shouldn't take too long considering I'm only doing three letters tut for tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. What you got to do is make your text obviously you can go to your mode text and then just make it a text object don't have any colors on it and just you can change all your caps and uh, your depth and just make it how you want it and then basically have your text selected and then go to your plugins Throssy then click Throssy and then choose your pieces um, I'm gonna do like 10 actually let's do 20 20 is a lot of pieces, but oh well. I would probably normally do 10, but just to get the point across on how to break the text, I'm gonna do 20. And then it'll, depending on how many pieces you do, uh, the, it determines uh, the length of how much you have to wait for it to be completed. Oh, and now it's done. So, see all these X's on there? This this is how I do my breaking of text. So. Uh, I mean, there's probably other tutorials on how to do it, but here, click these X's, make them check marks, and um, actually you can group all this if you wanted to. So just highlight them all and do Alt G, and it makes a group. Text. I'll delete the old one. Okay, now uh, basically it's broken up, but it shows it as solid. So what you're gonna have to do now is hold on, these are all random ones. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, basically it says cut inside, cut outside, cut inside, cut outside, over and over. And inside is obviously inside the text. Like it's into inside of it. Outside is basically this white that we're seeing right now. Even though the inside's white right now too, but it's okay. So take your inside color and you're probably gonna wanna do, I don't know, do something you can see. So let's do like red, and then I'm gonna put that as inside. Click. You need to click on your color and hold Alt at the same time and drag it on top of inside, and it does that. It basically replaces it, but it's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, and do that the same for all the inside ones. And then oh, that's it. And now outside is this white. I mean, you can keep it white which I'll probably do. I'll do it with a, a different wine actually. It's probably a little bit brighter. And basically now, okay, now it shows all the white. And now, and before you start, uh, uh, what's it called? Going down to your keyframes, you're gonna want to, uh, what's it called? Get the shapes. So you're gonna wanna have to go into your shape tool um, and then get a plutonic and then after the you grab a plutonic or platonic whatever just move it up a little bit and then click on it go to your coordinates and then change the s dot x and the s dot y and x dot z change all those to 0.5 and that basically uh, uh, what's it called it makes the shape uh, half the size it was before because we don't really need it that big so after that go to simulate and then force so if you're on R13 there's a tab that says uh, simulate and then you just take the force and drag it like into your platonic so the down arrow shows and then um, <clears throat> after that you're gonna right click and go to cinema 4d tags then go to compositing then uncheck cast shadow and uncheck uh, what's it called scene by camera and I think reflection I don't even remember I just um, and then basically you're gonna want to make multiple ones so you're gonna copy it and then paste another one move it over to the next letter and then basic and then copy it again and put another one on the other letter I usually do a platonic for each uh, letter and just you can group it so do alt or select them all and then do alt g and then uh just 
go and look at the side of your text so like move it over and look kind of like to the side of it and then you're gonna want to move the platonics like close to it and you're like really close you're gonna have to you're gonna put like uh, some of it touching it so like just look that's like about right right there have some of it touching oh I gotta move them over real quick so hold on so just take a, make sure like right here I have that one kind of off a little bit so you're gonna want to just move the platonics over just a little bit oh wrong button and then just have it touching it right there and you should be good and then now you you can do mess with your keyframes down there just go over two to three frames or you can go more and it'll keep dropping but I usually do frame two or three but uh, I think I'm gonna do uh, uh, probably frame two let's see yeah it's, yeah I'll just do frame two and then you render out your text and it'll take a while to render because it's uh, throwsy and you just broke down your text so you should be fairly set and uh, this is a pretty basic tutorial actually like, it wasn't too bad uh, so yeah you guys just comment rate subscribe this video and um, I hope to see you guys comment on my or on this video saying what you want to see in the next tutorial because I don't want to keep doing tutorials that uh that you already know how to do you know kinda stuff that you need to know but it's cool I guess uh, you guys been showing pretty damn good feedback in the previous tutorials and uh, I reached 1600,000 subscribers it's huge uh, I can't I can't believe I made it this way uh, I can't I can't be thankful enough for you guys uh, thank you for everything you've done and just make sure you comment below what you want to see next and um, hopefully you like the next speed art I put out so peace out guys and uh, yeah peace